This is very exciting. It's great to have John and John Van Dusen and the entire band, who you will introduce later. Yes. Okay, I just want to get right to the music. It's all you, man. KEXP, 90.3 FM, John Van Dusen live here on The Morning Show in one of the better titles of songs you'll hear, Don't Pitch Correct Me. Yeah. I love that title. I'm just really insecure about it. (laughs) (laughs) Something must have happened, though. A lot happened. There was something that caused you to come up with that phrase. Yeah, well, you know, there's a lyric that says, I won't try and explain. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Uh, The Universal Sigh is the brand new album, and uh, we're going to hear another one from it. Yes, let's do it. All right. Tell me to run it 
KEXP, John Van Dusen live here on The Morning Show. What a, a great first single. I think that was a good pick. Thank you. You chose it. <laughs> good no. Work. Good work. I, I, like John, reached out and, and listened to the album. Which song do you think? And you actually listen to me, which is always nice. That makes me an even bigger fan when someone actually listens to me. Well, I mean, do people not listen to No, me? they do, but it's it, uh, that's, uh, all the songs are really good. So it, it's... You know, you write really good, catchy songs, and, and if you're looking like single, I, I mean it. And, and if you're looking, you. you know, for a single, you want well, what's a, a hooky song or a, you know, something that sort of, um, uh, I don't know, represents the album? For me, that one did. Awesome. So I think it's a great song. Thank you very much. Yeah. For saying that. Hey, um, would you like to introduce your band? And I'm um, just to warn our video team. This is always tricky for them. If you could, yeah, go this way we'll go in this order. Way. That will help a little, I think. We're, we're trying to help them as much as they can. Very busy. Hey, okay. <laughs> this is Julianne. Hey, Julianne. Uh, she plays keys and sings, obviously. This is Nick. He plays guitar. They are in a band called Bell and Main, which is fantastic. Yep. Uh, Elizabeth, which is over, she's over there. She's playing keys and singing. Jonathan Keen, right here on the bass, in a super sweet t-shirt. And then my wife, Anna Babe, <laughs> playing keys. And then the uh, best drum in the world, Braden Kruger. So. Bringing in Bella Main is a nice move, by the way. Indeed. You, you, they, they know my fandom of this band as well. So good to see you. It's good to see you. I was not expecting to see you today, so it was nice. Um, John, um, uh, you were in the Lonely Forest for years. A lot of people recognize your voice from that, uh, a band that was near and dear to KXP's heart over the years. Yeah. One of my favorite stories with you, John, is um, you may not remember. I don't even know if we were in... Yeah, we were in Seattle. And... Well, I have some funny New York stories with you, but I'm not going to share those. Yeah. Um, but the Seattle story, I remember one of them, he got up, I heard from a bunch of people that they had to play a, a big uh, um, corporate station gig and they walk right up on stage and immediately started thanking KEXP. <laughs> immediately irritated probably some people in your camp, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. But I always thought that was, a, that, was a very, that was a very nice move because hey. we were playing you quite a bit. Yeah, you were. And, and you guys just... You always stuck to your guns. So. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about being out on, on tour and being in the band and this transition now to you working on these songs. Like, what inspired that? Well, um, touring wasn't really conducive to marriage. No. And I, uh, I like touring. I love touring with Brayden and Tony and Eric, but uh, it definitely made this more difficult. And so um, that was probably my biggest reason for stopping. Yeah. Um, and these songs, some of these songs are very old. And some of the choruses and verses have been around for 10 years. Um, and near the end of the Lonely Forest's um, life, felt like I should record a solo record because there were so many songs and I didn't really want to 
leave them untouched and unshared. So um, that's kind of why the recording proce process started. And uh, my friend Andy Park, who's a fantastic producer, mm -hmm. said, let's do it. So um, it's kind of weird playing, a, playing songs off of an album that technically we, I wrote many years ago and recorded almost four years ago. So, so your headspace must have been in a different place going back to these songs. What was it like pulling these older songs out and hearing some of the words from maybe a guy that was much different than the one listening to them? Yeah, yeah I think I am a little different. Um, some of them are really bittersweet. Some of them are really depressing. Um, some of them were about people from past relationships and it was just too heavy. Um, yeah, it's funny because it sound, the record sounds happy, but it's really not, <laughs> if I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. The only happy outcome, in my opinion, is Anna, Babe, and I are still a thing, a good thing. So, um, so yeah, I'm really thankful for that. But um, if, you, if you don't mind me asking, and that's a, really, that's a very grown-up decision to make, by the way, and a very responsible <laughs> one, I have to say. But Thank you. Does it happen in one conversation? Does it happen over time? <laughs> no. does it, does it, when, when is this, <laughs> this moment for you? I mean, I, I'm a very slow learner, yeah. and I made the same mistakes over and over and over again. So, I mean, Annababe would tell you if you got her to talk um, <laughs> uh, that, um, no, I did not learn it in one clean sweep. It took me a long time. Um, I mean, clearly, we're all still learning, but you know what I mean? Like, sure. it, it was a slow process for sure. You talked a little bit about um, depression mm -hmm. and about your struggle with it, mm -hmm. and how much, and, and just so you know, uh, actually in September, we're going to be doing an entire day focused on mental health and through the artists too. Wow. And, and some of the things that have gotten them through that and continue, it's not like it ends, uh, that continues to help people get through. For you, did, music must help, but did touring and, and being away from your wife and, and being out on the road, did, did that impact that negatively? Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, nobody's fault but mine. Um, you just put me in a toxic environment. It just wasn't good. Yeah. Um, you know, it wasn't the best environment for me personally. Yeah. Um, yeah, so being home has helped immensely. Um, I mean, this group of people here, some of the, like, my favorite people in the world, so that's a very, a, very a clear decision to have them in this, just so that I can remember what's true and remember what's healthy. Um, there's tons of beautiful people I love who I'd love to play music with, but I guess in this case, the people from Anacortis, um, who are basically family. Um, that's, that's the reason we're all here together, is to keep each other grounded, do it in a healthy way. Um, but yeah, touring, I hope to tour. Anna Babe and I will be touring to Europe September and October. Touring's a, um, maybe an overstatement, more like <laughs> hanging, traveling. Around, yeah, hanging around with a guitar and trying to play shows. But um, <laughs> That do, sounds great, actually. Yeah, no, I'm really excited for it. Um, but I do hope we get to tour some. But it will, it will always probably from here on out look a little different than the way it used to, so. What do you feel like, um, you know, you've, you've found how to use music, both performing and, and, you know, like learning from what you did through the Lonely Forest, um, that, that this can help you on your journey, the journey that you're on right now, then hurt it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I have to be really careful um, because it's so easily sucked. I'm so easily sucked back into this illusion that it's all about me. <laughs> um, and that's just super unhealthy. Um, and so, yeah, I think I'm figuring it out. I, I, it's not about me anymore. Um, I love to write music. Um, for me, it's a spiritual thing. It's, a, it's an emotional thing. It's how I um, process hurt and stuff like that. So it's, it's always been therapeutic and good, but now it feels, it definitely feels different in a really good way. And how is being in Anacortes more? Are you there more often? It's so beautiful up there. It is I mean, mostly big, beautiful. Big, mostly beautiful. Yeah, every once in a while you, you look and then you see the giant refinery, which <laughs> I'm thankful in a lot of ways for the refinery, but you know, some days it just looks like it's the end of the world. Um, but it's really good to be in Anacortes. Uh, you know, it's, it's a small town. Jonathan and I work at a game store. We sell like Pokemon and Dungeons and Dragons to kids. Um, you know, Anna Babe works just down the street. Braden teaches drums. Um, yeah, we're all working close together. And I don't know, it's, it's funny because it's a small town, but it still feels kind of busy. Yeah. Like when I go visit other places and come back, I'm, ov I'm overwhelmed yeah. at how busy it is. So you can imagine how I feel here. Yeah, I'm more than ever, right? Yeah, I just, not that I want to go home right now, but I'm, I'm like <laughs> reaching, <laughs> reaching my threshold. Like, okay, <laughs> time to go home. There's a lot of change over here. I know, we didn't even recognize Mercer. We were kind of confused. 
Oh, and they made it more confusing. They, Did they? Okay. Yeah, that was a plan, I think. Unless that was, that must have been their plan because that's how it was, the result was. It couldn't have been anything else. Um, tell me a, bit, a little bit about, uh, there's a release party too, right? This Friday? Yeah, in a couple days. Yep. Um, it's at the Lincoln Theater in Mount Vernon. Felt like a good little middle yeah. spot between Anacortes and Bellingham and Seattle. Um, it's a nice theater. Kind of like a small um, Paramount, maybe. Like a very small Paramount. Um, playing with Ashley Erickson of Lake, who's one of my favorite musicians. Um, songwriters. Uh, our friend R. Turner is playing as well. He's releasing his record, which is really good. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Well, good luck with it and the record. And there's songs you're about to play and tell us more about those. Yeah, so um, this is an album series. There's four of them. Mm-hmm. Um, they've all been written, basically. So we're going to play songs off of the third and the fourth. Cool. The third one's called Puck and the fourth is called Marathon Days. It's interesting you mentioned the thing in September about mental health and what gets us through those types of things. Because the song we're about to play is specifically about remembering small, like really small, beautiful things that I think we forget to cherish. I don't know if that sounds cheesy, but... No. Um, one of the lines is like, uh, I think I say, in the way a rabbit runs away. It's such a beautiful thing. I think we, at least where we are, there's rabbits everywhere. <laughs> they're always like running in front of my car, and then they run away. It's really beautiful. And I think, in my case, like that's something I want to hold on to um, appreciate the, the small, like seemingly insignificant beauties, if that the, makes any sense. Those, yeah, those little, I deal with this too. And, and the little, those things have saved me more often than big sweeping Absolutely. phrases or, yeah. or, or words or advice. Yeah. Um, I was having the worst day. And my little four year old walked up and said, Want to blow bubbles? It's like, that may have saved me the other day. Yeah. And it's just those little things that you have to remember. And we lose. There's so many big things out there right now, too. I know. And you lose sight of that. I know. No, that's... Uh, yeah, we don't need to get into it. But it's so, it's so easy to get swept away in the yeah. big, scary stuff. You got to remember the little, the little stuff that isn't scary. Yeah. Yeah. Like this in studio session right now. <laughs> and this song will help, I'm sure. What's the name of it? Fly Away to Hell. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, you ready? I am ready. You're different enough to feel unknown. The weight their looks push you underground Sometimes you just want to fly your way to hell You just want to fly your way to hell Sometimes you just want to fly your way to hell You just want to fly your way to hell But please don't forget the way the sun Hits the lake and dances back and forth Or the way a sparrow flies Or the way a rabbit runs away And stays Another day
Or the way a sparrow flies Or the way a rabbit runs away And stays Another day Beautiful. John Medusa live here on the morning show. We'll definitely be playing that one in September. Oh, awesome. Yeah. All right, you got another one for us? Yeah, this one's called Marathon Days. It's um, the title track off of LP4, which has no release date. I was going to say, that was my follow-up. Uh, yeah, I wrote this one um, half in Germany, half in China, while experiencing severe culture shock and missing um, anacortis. So I hope that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Rolling thunder, there's smoke on my tongue. I'm no longer young. I visit the river to cool off my mind under the rind. Sweet blueberry shivers. I'm overanalyzing every bloody thing. King of nothing more than words that fail to bring meaning to my life. I could use a little cabin in the woods, watch some birds and maybe smoke away the shoulds. Perhaps then I'll find some quiet. No more car alarms. Crowded subway cars, indoor cigarettes, pressure on my chest. No more mystery meat, suicidal streets, vomit by the door, sticky bathroom floors. I miss the places that I know The places that I go To be alone I miss the places that I know The places that I go To be alone Endless fields, early family meals, peaceful dusk and dawn, barefoot on the lawn, walking with my mom, coffee with my dad, sisters laugh at me, climb the cherry tree. that I know, the places that I go to be alone. I miss the places that I know, the places that I go to be
Well, there's my new favorite song. <laughs> nice work back there behind the drums, man. You, you yeah. can teach my kids a drum anytime. You teach them like that. <laughs> wow. God, I hope you're watching this on uh, Facebook Live. Just a great session. Mark from... Zuckerberg, are you out there? <laughs> <laughs> are you watching? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. He has nothing else going on. John Van Dusen live here with the band, sounding great this morning. And again, that doesn't have a release date yet. Nope. Now we've captured it, though, so yep. I can play it. So that's good. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. We, I think, for me, the hope is that all four releases aren't, like, they're not separate. Mm -hmm. It's like one big weird ball of songs well the connection to the last two too lyrically in the message in there about you know missing home and those moments um that that keep you grounded and keep you sane yeah very similar there you go a little crazy out there on the road yeah maybe so <laughs> yeah the third record puck i'm really excited about it and it's um so that's the one the flyway to hell song mm -hmm. um much noisier honestly and kind of sad and then the fourth is I'm excited about the fourth because I don't, it's not, it hasn't taken full, complete shape in my brain. So there's like, who knows? That's great. But that song's on it. That's the title track. So, well, good for you. They sound great. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's nice work. All right. Usually we're done after four songs. Nope, not today. But you have brought a cover with you. Yeah, you asked for it. We say, if you have a cover in you, play it. That's basically the rule. Not everybody takes us up on it. Uh, well, here it is. Okay. I'm not, are you going to say who it is or do people got to figure it out? Uh, that's your call. I mean, it's a John Denver. It's a John Denver song. Okay. <laughs> All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. And I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking, it's early morn. The taxi's waiting, he's blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome I could die it's So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go There's so many times I've let you down So many times I've played around And I tell you now that they don't mean a thing Every place I go, I'll think of you Every song I sing, I'll sing for you When I come back, I'll bring your wedding ring It's so kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go One more time, let me kiss you Now close your eyes and I'll be on my way And dream about the days to come When I won't have to leave alone About the time that I won't have to say so kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go Cause I'm leaving 
And he did just that. He left on a jet plane. I, I realize I have to say two really important things. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't know how much time we got. We have another hour, right? Sure. Jim? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. So I We're in the midday show now. It's all good. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to announce July 14th yep. at Barboza. We will be playing with Silver Torches. All right. Who new album I got to hear a little bit. I hope I'm okay saying this, and it's really, really good. It made my wife and I cry. You look back uh, there. Are there members of Silver Torches uh, back there? Uh, possibly. <laughs> uh, yeah, Anna Babe and I listened to it in the living room the other day, and it is really good. Um, also, uh, should we do it? Yeah. We're going to do it. Um, we're going to we're gonna release the Universal Psy right now on Bandcamp. Oh, really? Yes. That's exciting. Yep. Does that just happen? Uh, yeah, all you got to do is press a button on that computer. Oh, that? you're actually doing it. You're, I kinda, was like, where are you going to do Does it just magically happen because we kinda, said it? It's kind of messed up. Oh, so you, just, so you just have a button. Yeah, right. Press it, Jonathan. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, it's released. So it's, it's released. released. Yeah, it's that's officially it. out. Wow, a whole lot of... Just like that. Weird. Wow. So, yeah, if, if you want to find it on Bandcamp, I think it's I am John Van Dusen because somebody else took John Van Dusen. <laughs> yeah, I, my, it's all of my tags, like the Twitter handles, is really confusing. Because people took your name? I guess. Like, I guess. Somebody. Yeah. There, I think there's a male model named John Vaduzen, so <laughs> not me. Okay. Thank you, That's John. great. Well, go there now and be some of the first people to get it. Yeah, and those who have pre-ordered it will have the download now. It's That's yours. That's cool. Nice work. Come sing it with us on Friday at the Lincoln. Wow, this is one of the many reasons we have you in. You release your albums on the show. Yeah. You cover John Denver. I know, right? You, you let me pick out the single. Yep. You well, brought nice people with you. I did. Talented is all heck. Yep. <laughs> all heck. <laughs> the kids are listening. All right. Uh, I want to thank everybody here uh, for this session, all our video team as always, and Kevin and the audio team. And uh, a really big thanks to our amplifiers this week, the people who amplify the station. They donate every month, and these sessions take place uh, because of you. And thanks to all the people behind the glass as well who came in to watch this session today. We thank everybody who always comes by here. You're very welcome to come by the sessions here at KXB. You built this place, and, uh, and you should see these bands that play here live. Thank you again, John, and uh, good luck with the show and the albums, and I can't wait for the other releases. Thank you. Keep us updated. I will. All right, this is 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Yay! All done. We're bad. Hey, did you know that that was our first ever performance? Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.